everyone and welcome back to Fully Playable Games. So in today's video we are going to be doing something a bit different um, and it's actually going to be a bit of a review um, and what I want to talk about is my experience buying games from Limited Run. So for those of you that don't know, Limited Run Games is a company that's based out in the US and they specialise in making physical versions of digital only games. Um, they've made sort of loads of lo loads of different titles. Um, I know one some that sort of spring to mind: um, River City Girls Two, uh, the Castlevania. Um, there's a Castlevania game on the Switch. Um, it's like the the retro Castlevania games uh, remade on the Switch. And one of my all-time favourite games on the PS4, um, Shantae. Uh, and that is where we are going to be, what we're going to be talking about today, because last year, um, I think it was August time last year, um, I got an email from Limited Run, because I'm actually on their mailing list, and I got an email to say that they were going to be releasing a 20th anniversary uh, remake of the original Shantae. Um, and it was going to be coming out on sort of PS4, PS5, and Switch, I believe. And yeah, I thought, you know what? I'm going to grab it. Uh, it would be the, the first time. Every time I've looked at Limited Run in the past, um, I well, I can't remember what game it was I looked at. I looked to buy a game from them about a year before this. And the shipping costs were going to be equal to the cost of the game. So I think the game was like $40. Um, so even say when we say forty quid, um, it was then going to be another forty quid on top for the shipping, and I was like, no way, no way am I going to do it. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I ended up looking at the Shantae, um, but then uh, when the Shantae was released, the shipping rates had come right the way down, really reasonable price, um, and yeah, it was something that I was going to do. So uh, September the second, I placed the order. Um, and as I was scrolling through the website, I'll put a picture of the original listing up um, right on the screen. I was sort of scrolling through, trying to work out sort of how it all worked, because this was the first time I'd ever bought anything from Limited Run. Um, so never really had any experience of their sort of pre-order um, process, because uh, it was they, they clearly made it out that it was a pre-order um, and that it was going to be a delayed sort of release it wasn't going to be something you're going to get in a couple of weeks time uh, so i was having a look through and then i saw this section on the website it basically read that uh, products are typically typically not expected to ship until four to five months after the pre-order window closes now the pre-order window closed on the 9th of october so a little over a month after i placed the order so i was like okay that's not a problem at least i've got an idea on sort of time frames so even if we take worst case scenario so i'm going to be looking at sort of mid-march uh, for the game to be shipped which i thought yeah not a problem um, and yeah i'll just sort of keep my ear to the ground hopefully that over that time they'll send me out some updates um, and i'll be sort of fully informed as to what's happening so i waited I waited, and I waited, and then we got to sort of mid-March, and I'd still not heard a peep about this game. Uh, looked on the website, the website was exactly, the, the webpage was exactly the same as when I pre-ordered. The only thing that was different was that, obviously it now said that it was sold out, and there was no buy button. Um, then, on the, so yeah, I was expecting sort of a delivery date around sort of the 9th, the 9th of March-ish. Um, and then on, uh, I think it was, I haven't actually got it down on here, but I think it was like the 25th of March, something like that. Um, I then get an email from Limited Run. Um, and I'll, I'll put a picture of it up as well now. Uh, so scroll down to the bit where it's talking about the Shantae release. Um, and there's a couple of bits that really stood out to me with this bit. Uh, so the first bit was we are hard at work getting the Shantae standard editions ready to print. So yeah, by the time what so they've said uh, four to five months for uh, shipping, and then we get to that five month mark, and it, it's still not even gone to print yet. So I was getting a bit like, well, that's a bit like a bit misleading. So I was a bit yeah, not overly happy. Um, and then 
the other line that really sort of caught my interest was once the release date of the digital game is announced we'll be back with an updated ETA for the physical edition so yeah once again they were literally saying so they were taking pre-orders well in advance of even knowing when the digital game was going to be released and yeah they just didn't have a date for the game to actually be made and shipped so yeah was it was it ready to print or were you still waiting for the game to be released do you know what i mean those two statements contradict each other so yeah that was a bit disappointing so yeah not really a lot of information out of the march update um and then so i just ended up waiting because to be honest i wanted to see it through um i wanted to see it through until the end um just to see the process because i've seen a lot of comments online of people that have pre-ordered stuff from limited run games and a year two years down the line they still haven't received the game uh so yeah i really wanted to see for myself what it was like um and then come to come to the end of may so the 31st of may i then get another update from limited run and in this update um they are essentially saying that they're going to be in, uh, implementing new communication processes um, and policies to keep people up to date of when their games are going to be shipped so i thought brilliant sort of a bit more a bit more communication coming from them and we'll we'll know a bit more information so their email started off as part of our work to improve shipping times and customer service we're working on a new initiative to keep our customers informed about how their purchases are coming along so i was like brilliant so scroll down to the email with a section that covered the uh, Shantae release and we then get to the PS5 version is en route from Sony and will be in hand soon. Uh, the PS4 version is still pending production with Sony. So I was like, okay, so Sony is actually manufacturing the physical release, which I thought was a bit weird, but um, okay. So I'd pre-ordered the PS5 version anyway, so I was like, brilliant, that's on its way, uh, so it will soon be shipping. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, so then on the 23rd of June, um, I get another email, uh, which basically says that my order has been dispatched. So I was like, brilliant, um, I'm going to have it sort of by the end of the week. Uh, I look through the email, there is no uh, nothing about expected uh, delivery time. Uh, I look up the tracking number, I look it up a couple of times over the first week, and it just says that they're waiting they're waiting for it to arrive uh, waiting for it to arrive and then yeah it just keeps saying waiting for it to arrive um and then a couple of weeks later i then receive a package this package and i had absolutely no clue what it was uh, the wife come in and she was like you have got me for all the packages what's this <laughs> and i'm like i haven't got a clue <laughs> uh, so i open it up and lo and behold it is my order from limited run so really really chuffed it is finally here so as you can see it is the ps5 version of shantae and i'll try and get it in because at the moment it's still sealed because uh, i've opened the opened the envelope up but i haven't actually um opened the game up yet i'm gonna go and do that in a minute um and then we got a trading card which is something that comes with a lot of the limited run games even though i think it was the march update they actually said that they were stopping the trading cards so i was quite surprised that that come but still it was a, a welcome thing to receive um, and then i got a little leaflet uh, which basically says um, it takes time to make cool stuff uh, we appreciate you waiting uh, here's a coupon during your next checkout to get five percent off your order uh, I'm not going to turn it around because obviously I want to try and use that code. Probably will use that code going forward. But yeah, so this is my first copy of a limited run game that I've actually ordered myself uh, from the website. So far, all the other ones that I've ordered have come from places like eBay, CEX, so on and so forth. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to go and get the PS5 set up. Uh, I want to capture a bit of gameplay footage for this um, before we before I go through my final thoughts on buying from Limited Run.
so I've just finished playing through, um, played probably about half an hour on the new Shantae game. So uh, yeah, what did I think of it? Well, actually I really enjoyed it. Now this is essentially what they've done is they've lifted and shifted the original Game Boy Color game. Um, they've got two different versions of it on the disc. They've got the original Game Boy Color game, then they've got an enhanced version um, which have got slight slight enhancements to it um but it's still very much sort of pix uh, pixelated um and yeah it just looks like a uh, you've plugged a game boy player into um a tv and just played it that way um but i have to say i really enjoyed it um probably played through like the first level on the enhanced version um, and then uh, just captured the first sort of couple of minutes uh, on the standard version, just so I could give a, a bit of a comparison. But yeah, I really enjoy the Shantae games. Um, I've played through Half Genie Hero. Um, I know I've got one on the PS5 already. I can't remember the name of it uh, because I haven't played it yet. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm really glad to have this in the collection. Obviously, it's taken 10 months to get here, um, but... Yeah, I'd say it was worth the wait. So, now that we've finished talking about the actual game, uh, what did I think about Limited Run? So obviously this is the first time that I've purchased directly from them. Uh, any other time I've purchased, I've either got it from Amazon or from eBay. Um, what do I think? So, Limited Run, in my eyes, Limited Run is an absolutely a it's an amazing thing for the collecting community um, because stuff like Shantae, obviously, it's extortionately expensive on the Game Boy Color. I've, it's a couple of hundred pound at least um, for a, a complete inbox uh, Shantae on the Game Boy Color. So a lot of us wouldn't get the chance to play it. Um, I know I probably wouldn't do um, because... I'm not that much of a Game Boy Color collector at the moment. Uh, that might change in the future, but at the moment, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think from that respect, Limited Run is absolutely amazing for the community. Um, I think there is a couple of things that they just need to work on. Um, obviously, they've, they've sorted out one of my one of my biggest hurdles to using them uh, was obviously cost. Uh, so, uh, as I say, when I originally looked at them, the postage costs were absolutely extortionately expensive. Um, and I know it was like a PS4 game that I was looking at. I can't remember what it was. But, um, yeah, it was going to be as much as the game was costing, that again, to just ship it. And, yeah, in this day and age, it didn't need to be that expensive. So, really glad that they brought their postage costs down. Um, I believe, actually, they've now got a production facility in Europe. Um, so that's probably how they've managed to bring their costs down. Um, but I think a couple of things that they obviously need to really focus on is going to be the communication side of it. Because obviously they're, say if they're saying on their website um, that once the pre-orders finish, um, it's normally ready for dispatch four to five months um, after the, the pre-orders close. Which is fine. That that wouldn't that that didn't bother me. Um, so I was like, yeah, fully prepared for that. So I know, yeah, I'm probably going to get it about March. But then the communication just stopped. Um, and from what I'm seeing, they're trying to sort of get their communication up. But obviously, my order completed bef before that really kicked in. If that makes sense. So obviously, Limited Run have been absolutely amazing at getting out emails every week saying to you about the new games that they've got coming out. Um, but I think, yeah, they just need to prove that they can get on top of the um, order management process um, and, yeah, just give people that are ordering uh, a bit more notice as to what's going on. I think from my perspective, had they put on the website that it could any be anywhere from 6 to 12 months before delivery, I would have been fine. Okay, yeah, worst case, I'll get it by sort of October next year. That That wouldn't have been a problem. I would have known and then I would have been... That would have been in my head, so to speak. Um, but I think where they're sort of trying to undersell uh, how quickly they're going to get it out, that was a bit of an issue. And I think from my perspective, the reading what the emails and that that they were sending out was saying, they weren't even at, they didn't even physically have the game in hand 
when they were saying that they were going to deliver it by. So, yeah, I think updating their messaging uh, around sort of when stuff's going to be delivered is uh, really important. Um, and, yeah, but overall, I will say that I am really, really pleased. Um, that I've actually gone through the process. I've got, um, I've got the game that I wanted. And, yeah, it is, it is a service that I will look to do again. Um, obviously, I'll have a bit of a better idea of what to expect. Hopefully, next time round, with the making improvements, um, I might even be extremely surprised and be setting myself up for, oh, I'm going to wait 12 months for this to come, but it come within sort of a couple of months, as I say. Um, I just really want to, just really hope that they can just turn that bit around and just really get the community, keep the community involved, uh, so to speak. So, yeah. As I say, um, one of the other things I'm really pleased about is obviously they have started selling limited run games on Amazon. Um, so these are sort of brand new. They are coming from uh, limited run themselves. Um, and yeah, I have actually bought a couple of games like that. So I think my copy of... Um, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> uh, no, I can't remember the name of it. It's the one where you've got a room and you're unpacking. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Uh, yeah, my copy of Unpacking, that was a limited run game that I actually bought directly from Amazon. That actually ended up coming from Amazon US. Uh, so yeah, that was quite quite a funny one, but yeah, it did uh, it did come, and I was really really happy with it. And it actually I'd say that actually come ahead of time as well. So yeah, I have got I've got quite a few limited run games sitting in my basket um, on my Amazon profile, so I will be picking up some more of these. But yeah, I think that is going to be about it for my review on limited run. As I say, really really happy uh, with everything overall uh, just some little bits in the middle that i think they just need to tidy up a bit so with that said that is going to wrap up today's video but before you head off if you did enjoy the video and found it useful don't forget to hit that like button and if you're not already smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when i upload new videos uh, i'm on a big push at the moment trying to get the channel to a thousand subscribers so every single person that subscribed subscribes is really appreciated but that is going to be the end of it today. So thank you so, so much for joining me today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.